All right, guys, unboxing here. So I have uh, a couple of watch stands, actually. I bought one, and they, well, they were going to send me one anyway. I reached out to them, and they don't normally do this for channels, but Bruce loved it, right? So I was like, well, if he loves it, I'm going to love it too. So I hit them up, and they were hesitant, but um, they agreed to send one into the channel. It's completely free to me from the channel, so... Um, and it's, it took a while to get here. Um, the box, the cardboard box that it was in, the outer one, I've never seen cardboard look like leather. This cardboard is so soft and just molded like that box went through heck. But the boxes inside, these two guys, the way they packaged them, totally fine. You would have never guessed, right? So they agreed to send me one, and I knew that um, I, I was going to like it, right? Because Bruce did. So I, I bought one personally. So I bought one and they gifted one. So just quick uh, instructional pamphlet here. They're, they're probably made in Seoul, Korea. That'd be kind of cool to go visit Seoul, Korea, wouldn't it? So that's, that's not super soft, but it's going to be soft enough. And I'm not sure what the material is exactly. I think it says on the box here. Genuine leather. So it is genuine sheepskin leather so it's usually just not that taunt it's not usually that tight i'm not used to that so there's a little bit of hardware here they come with allen wrench and the parts and everything and so some assembly required it's not going to be that big of a deal but packaged nice thankfully and so you just got to put this bad boy together i didn't read the instructions but it shouldn't be too difficult looks like just basically put this guy there, bolt that in, and then uh, bolt in the uh, the top part here, however that goes. So you can turn that and everything. So let me put it together and then I'll show you that part of it um, and then I'll put a watch on it. All right guys, super easy to put together. There's two screws that you put in to the bottom part here, just one on each side, I showed you that. And then there's a set screw back here. You just back that set screw out, slide this bar in, determine what position you kind of want it at, crank that bad boy in. And then there's a set screw up in there that you can kind of see hidden right there. That one's already kind of set to a decent amount of tension where you can just kind of turn the head of this a little bit, however you want to position it. Or you can crank it down if you want it like locked into a certain position. Um, and then, you know, a bunch of different variations from there. But yeah, it just kind of sets on that and just kind of hangs down in almost like a neutral position. You can close the clasp if you wanted to. So it uh, looks a little better and hangs a little bit higher up. Just a nice, cool little display. And then there's room down here for like, you know, if you wanted to put your wedding ring down there or something. Um, good for a nightstand or something like that or display on your desk. Or uh, These are pretty affordable. Um, I forget what the price was. <laughs> I'm super bad with that. Uh, hold on one second. All right, so I just checked. I paid, well, I got a discount code, but these are $115 each. There is a sale going against Snapshot in Time. There's a sale going right now. And I think you can say if you buy two, then you get, you save $30. So just over 100, 100 bucks, 115 bucks, and then there's free shipping and everything. Uh, there's some other colorways too. There's like a darker toned, this is just aluminum. There's a darker toned one of these that's uh, like $3 more. I think those are like 118. And then I just noticed on his website, it wasn't there when I ordered these, but uh, he has like a, a green, it's called like a Napa limited edition or something. I think that's very cool to play around with maybe some limited edition options or something. But um, I don't know if it's something that interests you or you're looking for a product like that, a bleak. Easy to deal with, great, great uh, product, and uh, these are just covers. You peel these off, and then the the grippies underneath actually grip the table a lot better. So even with just one off there, it just it grips a lot better. So let me know what you guys think. I'm digging them. I think Bruce is 100% dead on. These were like really nice. I'll see you guys on the next vid.